Hey guys, it's uh, Jonah here once again. Um, been a while since I've seen you guys, um, unfortunately, but I've been drinking a bit of beer and um, I've been doing some touring as well. Um, if you've seen some of my previous uh, reviews, you know that I really, really like a new brewery in Windsor called Windsor and Eaton Brewery or We Brew. Um, was it webrew.co.uk? Might be .com. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Anyway, check this out. Oh, got their T-shirt on. Look at that. It's the skyline in Windsor. How cool is that? Mega, mega cool. Um, and if you read the label inside the um, inside the T-shirt, hey, guess what? It's uh, renewable. Um, resources, it's eco, um, carbon neutral. I mean, these guys, they're so cool. Um, anyway, what happened was, I was going to go, as some of you from the brewing sites might know, to the uh, the Windsor Beer Festival. Booked a hotel, got everything sorted, took the day off work to recover, the next day that is. Um, anyway, they changed the dates. The, uh, the local camera changed the dates. You absolute assholes. <laughs> um, okay, something that couldn't be helped. It was, what did the website say? Circumstances beyond our control. Well, I was a bit pissed off, shall we say. 50 quid down the, down the drain for a hotel and a uh, day off work, which, hey, I'll have to work an extra day to, to pay it back. Anyway, so we went anyway and there's the brewery and I noticed they do brewery tours and stuff um, so we parked in Alexandra Gardens in the archways at the back and we walked under the archways into Duke Street found the brewery I wasn't really expecting much because we hadn't phoned uh, we hadn't booked we just kind of rocked up at the brewery uh, went in met these two there were two really nice girls in the admin uh, department really cool um, showed us through and they said oh we'll get hold of Will okay uh, when he came out I recognized him because I've done some research on the website and stuff Will's one of the sort of partners um, of the brewery and he he basically went hey you know if you guys want I'll take you around he was such a such a nice guy um, took us around showed us all the mash tons showed us um, showed us everything their maltings uh, their hop, their hops that they use, everything made sense, and the place is really nice. I mean, it's not a massive place, quite a small brewery. It only started in 2010. You know, they've been going just over a year. Um, the guy was so friendly. Gave us some some tastings as well at the end. Um, and my girlfriend doesn't really drink that much, so, and it was sort of 11, half 11 in the morning. Oh, pardon me. Um, so yeah, she passed them to me. <laughs> so I must have had a pint, pint and a bit in within the space of like ten minutes. Anyway, really, really nice guy. Um, anyway, we got or we tried this beer. Can you see that one? It's called Windsor Knot. Um, it's a special one. It's uh, made for. Uh, William and Kate's uh, wedding. Hey, cheers, guys! Oh, where's the uh, where's the glass? Here we go. Cheers, guys! Hey, look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a Windsor and Eton glass as well. These guys, man, they're they're cool. They have everything. Um, this is very unusual. Um, it uses uh, Nelson Saffron hops, which is meant to smell. Um, Will was telling us like Sauvignon Blanc, the wine, um, and it's a weird hop that comes from New Zealand. Um, so these guys are really sort of trying some different stuff. Um, you could only get it this year because it's the wedding year. Wins are not. So in 2011, if you can find this stuff, and it is readily available, you can get it from all the, all the right places, go for it. It's, oh man, it's really beautiful. Not going to do a review on it today, but hey, cheers. Mm. Gorgeous. 
Anyway, so we've got a few bottles of that. Also got one of these beauties. Check this out. You guys know how I love my kegs. Check that out. I'm gonna focus on that beast. Conqueror, can you see what it says? Yeah, that's the one I really like. Whoop. You gonna focus in there, baby? Conqueror. Really nice beer. Um, that was 20 quid, but the way I looked at it is I'm gonna recycle, because I do homebrew, um, I'm gonna recycle the actual mini keg as well. Um, 20 quid, kegs were about, what? Four quid, four quid say, call it like that. You might be able to get them cheaper. Anyway, so what's that, 16 quid, and you get eight pints in that beast? Two pounds a pint? You know, I'm happy with that. Straight from the brewery, keeping them going. Excellent. So, uh, got that. Also, <laughs> a bit greedy really. Pick this up as well. Check that out. That's the uh, selection pack. Actually, you can get this from uh, from the Windsor Farm Shop if you're in Windsor. But uh, check that out. Ooh, a little bit out of focus. There we go. So you get Knights of the Garter on this side. You get Guardsmen. They're their two sort of best brews. And in the middle, you get a pint glass. Windsor and Eaton. Hey, recognise that? <laughs> it's the same as that on the T-shirt. Brilliant, brilliant guys. Anyway, so I was chatting to them for a while um, and I was really cheeky and um, managed to get uh, my hands on one of these as well. Still in, still in the wrapping, Conqueror. So he gave me a pump clip. <laughs> How absolutely cool is that? Oh, and how about this? Got a few bar mats as well. Um, I, to I told Will, and it's, it's the truth, um, it's my birthday in a couple of weeks. Um, hey, if you want to send me some, uh, some beers, eee. Um, <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Um, and I'm gonna have a beer festival, mainly home brews, but that's what this beast is for, this keg, is gonna be for my, uh, for my birthday mini beer festival stroke. Hey, I'm gonna do some barbecue food as well. Um, I'm gonna be absolutely bladdered, so I might not be able to take a video, but hey, you never know. Um, might post something, <laughs> not promising anything. Um, yeah, so hey, winter, winter in Eton. You guys, absolutely, absolutely first class. You, you guys, surprise me just for letting us in. You're so friendly, showed us around. Very, very cool. That's all I've got to say. And hey, you're one of one of my favourite new brewers because your beer is so good. Conqueror beer is really, really nice. Um, this one, um, which I've <laughs> I've been drinking. Windsor not had it in the pint in the local pub in Windsor. But from the bottles, it's really nice, nice and fresh as well. Um, not sure if the pub kept the beer quite, quite the way um, the way it should be, really. But hey, that's not a problem with the brewery. That's a problem with uh, the pubs. Um, but out of the bottles, really, really nice. And it's a shame because um, it's only going to be available this year. If you can get your hands on it, it's really nice brew. Otherwise, any of their brews, highly recommended done a review previously you can check it out on the old um, the old Conqueror because that is absolutely gorgeous black IPA um, I'm gonna do a review on these other two beers as well um, so look out for those in the future and uh, if you're in the area make sure you phone them first and don't be like me because they might not let you in yeah but uh, give them a ring and probably about maybe maybe an hour we spent there the, the guys are so cool what more can I say Thanks, Windsor and Eaton. Loving your beer. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.